Hi YouTube, it's Ray, back at it, another video, trying to be on top of the game here. So this is going to be my fourth video, y'all. Here's Prada, in case you don't recognize her from Alani Lee Baby's channel. This is Prada, aka Moo, she's our little badass Frenchie that we got. So what I'm going to do today is learn how to bathe a Frenchie correctly with Ray. And here we go. She's pretty good about it. Um, it's taken some time. She's like about a year and a half now. So it's taken, but she's already thinks she's wet. She's not wet yet. She's just sitting in here with me. I wanted to get you all on the whole thing. Do's and don'ts of what you should do. Uh, you got to get them used to it. You got to baby them, talk to them, not baby them, but you got to like, you know, talk to them nice. Don't be like, here, come here. You know, all that shit. And, um, try and make it enjoyable for them too is, you know, for, cause you're getting them clean. It's enjoyable for you, but the bath time is not always enjoyable for them. So what you can do is use peanut butter. And so what I have here, shout out to Susie CBD. CBD peanut butter, see she's already tripping. We'll just put that right on over here in case she needs it. If she gets a little antsy, I'll put a little um, teaspoon right here on the side of the sink. Same thing goes for Princess. When I bathe Princess, um, I'll put a little scoop on the side of the shower wall. Keeps them busy for a minute, keeps them happy. Everybody's good. Here we go, I'm gonna turn on the water cause she's really upset that she saw the peanut butter and didn't get any. So we'll just uh, start the water, get that going. She gets kind of cryy. She likes it really warm. She doesn't like to get cold whatsoever. You're 100% gonna need a wash rag. She has special shampoo because she's got a lot of skin issues. This one is called, it's a generic name, so I don't even know. It's Skin Guard. Yeah, I don't see any other name but Skin Guard on there. So, we, that's what we always use, prescription shampoo for them because they always have issues with their skin going on. Um, uh, the other thing I do for them is I'll start the heater because she does get very cryy. She's a little baby. She's very pampered. She doesn't like to be cold. I'm gonna ask my assistant in the back room if they could turn on the heater so she won't be cold once she gets starts getting uh, wet here and out of the bath. So go ahead, let them shake all they want because there's no stopping that. So I just start, you know, with, I, I also have the sprayer with the hose. That is very helpful. I do it in the sink because in, so here she goes, because in the tub, she's too short for the, the shower. It's okay, it's all right. She's too short for the shower and water gets in her ears. And number one, uh, do not do for Frenchies is get water in the ears because they immediately get um, ear infections. You don't want that. That's money at the vet. She's very susceptible to that and she's very sensitive. She cries when stuff's wrong with her. So she's got an ear infection. She'll wake up three in the morning to let me know about it and she'll cry all about it. So what you do for that is I have the wash rag. Oh, I wonder if we're gonna get the camera wet too. Mike, it's okay, baby. So I just talked to her. She gets too whiny. Like I said, I'll give her the peanut butter. It's okay. And there you go. Sit down, my baby. Sit down. Oh, you're gonna show them now how you're crunchy talking? No, it's okay. So I just get her really wet. I really do the face last. I keep the head up while I'm doing close to the ears. Sometimes she does move and it gets in her ears. It's not always foolproof. I just try the best I can. Get them totally soaked. Then you come in with the shampoo. And if I do it too, no, 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 don't you dare try and leave. She's only done that one other time of trying to leave. Once you get to rubbing, she's usually okay. She's like, okay, I got the massage going. I put a whole bunch of soap all at one time. Okay, okay. Right. Then I wet it all to get the good lather going. This special shampoo is supposed to be on their skin for at least 10 minutes to be working the way it's supposed to. So I just try and make it fun. I get her all lathered. Once I start with the nails, she usually is okay. It becomes like a massage for her and then she starts to be better. But she must be cold. But I have the water nice and warm. See, she starts to stop when I start with the nails, see? And it's a massage and then, oh. Does that feel good, my baby? Huh, oh, just a good baby. I got Princess at my feet. She's jealous because she thinks she's not getting something that Prada's getting. But she won't, like, make too much noise about it. So really, I leave the head for last. I'll lather up the back of the neck. I just do that number, waiting for that to be over so I don't take a bunch of this soap to the face. 
But to be honest with you, I get covered in this soap anyways because Princess has to be bathed in the shower, which means it goes all over my body. So it is what it is. So I'm scrubbing the legs individually now. I go underneath. Yeah. And she's starting to be better because she's getting that massage cracking. I really put lots of soap. She sleeps with me in the bed, so I bathe her really, really good. Princess sleeps in Lonnie's bed, so I bathe her really, really good. I want no surprises in the bed, sleeping with these animals, you know? I never really wanted to sleep with the dog again. It just happened. Proud I made up all her own rules when she came along. Nothing I really say matters. She listens to me the best, but I really is not saying a whole lot. She does whatever she wants most of the time. I'm sure y'all seen her on Alani Lee's baby's channel. It's okay, relax. I do every foot, every toe. She gets fed up. I know, I know. You want to make sure you get all of the undercarriage and under the armpits. I suds up every area, every toe. Like I said, they have skin problems and issues, so I make sure. You want to make sure you wash the butt everywhere. I usually just do this, and then once she's all sudsed up, like I said, she's got to be like real close to 10 minutes, you know? So I'll just try and like keep doing this. And rubbing her and talking to her and telling her, oh, what a good girl you are. You've been so good, yeah. Oh, you want to get clean? You want to be a clean babies after this? Oh, so good, yes. See? Let's keep going. And after this, she's usually kind of angry after her bath. I don't know about y'all. Y'all got Frenchies, are they angry after their baths? She runs track or she'll attack Princess. And then she attacks her again after Princess's bath, too. I don't know why, what that's about. Are you showing the people your beautiful face? Oh, so good. Yeah. And I try real hard not to get any water in the ears, but I will let the soap get on the outside of the back of the ears. Okay. Got it all over me. So what do y'all think about the video so far? Are you enjoying the content? I just thought I would get a little glimpse into what I already do. Nothing's like made up or staged or or even like elaborated on. This is like, I do this shit every, it's Sunday. I'm still in my fucking PJs. Can't believe I didn't get on my PJs today. Kind of embarrassing, but it is what it is. I don't get to do it very often. So when I do do it, it's kind of like a, a treat. That's some old ass mom shit. Your treat staying in your pajamas all day, whatever. I'm usually so busy, I don't have time for that, so. I don't know if you remember me talking about on Alani's page, I'm always bitching about the deadline. I made the deadline. So I got a little extra time to spend with the kids. I mean, I bathe them every, every Sunday or Saturday. They get bathed anyway, so no matter what. If I really have time, I'll do it on Friday. But it's usually Saturday or Sunday every single week. If they get into something weird or something, they go to the beach or park or something in between that, they get an extra bath. Because, like I said, they sleep in bed with us, so. And this one, she's always trying to sneak in my sheets, so, you know. I'm trying to keep them as clean as possible. <laughs> Nothing worse than a dirty dog in your bed. Ha! That goes for a man, too. Whatever dog. The canine version or the men version, whatever. It is what it is. Look, she's shivering, so she's cold. We got the little heater on for her, so she should. And she, as soon as I put the warm water, she starts to sit down. And mellow out. It's okay. It's all right. And so now that I've massaged her and rubbed her, what's the time? It's been about 10 minutes. That's good stuff. So what I'll do now is I'll take the wash rag and I'll wet the wash rag all the way. And I'll get some soap from somewhere else on her back of her head or her neck or wherever. And I'll suds up the whole wash rag. See? 
And she's constantly moving, so she always feels like I'm trying to get it in her ears. So I'm always moving and being fast with her. But I take the wash rag that has the soap on it, and I start washing her face. And I'll rub it. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like this part very much. But, you know, the Frenchie's got the wrinkles. you got to get them. The wrinkles got to be clean. You don't clean those wrinkles every single day. Ew. You don't, <laughs> if you don't clean those wrinkles every day, it's, they smell. It'll actually stink. It's gross. So she, every morning, she gets her face wiped with uh, dog wipes. See, she likes this part because then it, it scratches her. So I'll just do this on the rest of her head. No water towards the ears ever. Got that? Any dogs with open ears, that goes for pibbles that you cut their ears and now they got those tall open ears. Don't put any water towards their face because the chances are they're going to get water in their ears and that's no good for anybody. Ooh. Put that one right to the face, y'all. All over my face. Usually I catch it better than that. But, you know, shit happens. You cold babies. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Oh, it's all right. And she's very antsy. She doesn't really let me do everything. But, you know, the more you do it, the more they let you do. So you tell them, and then you don't give up. If you need to clean their wrinkles, you clean their wrinkles no matter how long it takes. So, that's what I do. I'll rinse this out some more. Oh, all right, you're almost done. Almost. So what I do now is now I rinse out all the soap and, rinse, and squeeze out all the water. Right? And she likes this because it, it itches inside. I'll take this just like this. Can you see? My thumb's underneath the wash rag and I'll just rub it. She likes it anyways. Cleans all the outside. Cleans the inside. Not getting any water in there. This works really well for her. She likes it. See? She's not squirming away at all. And I'll get in there. I'll put my thumb in there just a little because I got long nails so I don't want to do too much. She jerks around a little. And gets it all nice and clean. And watch how white they're going to be. And she's already a clean dog anyways. I mean, this is a white rag, and the only thing on here is her fur. So she's really clean anyways. Oh, yeah. Tell them about how terrible it is. Tell them what a bad dog mom I am, huh? How terrible your life is. I wish. Die and come back as one of my dogs. That would be great. So here we go. Here's the second ear. You see how we're doing it? Got my thumb underneath the wash rag. You don't have any nails on. You don't even have to worry about where you're at because you can't like stab them. So you got nails on, you just watch where you go. And I just go inside a little bit, just a little, just to get it. Yeah. There you go. And then what I do for the back of the neck is I just do where it's really close to the ears, I do with the wash rag. And then the rest of it, I do with the hose. I've done it in my bathtub a lot of times. I have a hose in my bathtub, but it, or it's, it's a shower, it's a standing shower. So um, it's it's too sh short for her. Like it doesn't reach all the way down and I just feel like it's more chances for soap to get in her ears. It's okay, my love. Okay, you ready? Let's get washed off. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna sit down. And once we did this part, she usually sits down and she starts to relax. Now, when you're rinsing the back of the head, make sure the face stays up because they'll lean down. Water will get right in the ears when they do that. She tends to do that a lot, so I have to grab her face. See, she just did it right now, but the water's not on her, so it's okay. Or not on her ears. It's okay. You're being so good. What a good little uh, YouTube mom you're being, yeah. Oh, it's getting a little cold. Why is the water getting cold? Is that why you're crying? See, she just tells you right away. She's so on it. Huh. There you go, better. Keep your face up. Yeah, almost done. And I hold it real close because it helps saturate the fur faster and it gets the, wa the water through it faster and the soap out faster. And then I also turn this part on. She always acts different when this part goes on. Put your face up. Yeah, no. You're trying to get water in your face. No, no, no. And I just, if you're on the sprayer, I just hold it closer to the skin. 
It doesn't make a mess. Get the soap out. Keep just going over the skin with it till you feel like all the soap's out. She likes to try and bite it when it's on the sprayer. So I'll do it on all the feet. On the undercarriages. Turn it back on to that. Totally soaked. A little towel ready to go. And then, again, you just keep rinsing until you don't fill any more soap. She's always trying to bite the water, drink the water. I don't really mind it too much unless there's soap in the water because if they drink too much soapy water, you can get diarrhea, so I don't want to do that. So what do we learn? The biggest don't, don't pour water over Frenchie's head or any dog's head that has open ears. Do not pour water over the top of the head where water can get inside the ears. They will get ear infections. She came straight from the breeder to us with a double ear infection and both ears at seven weeks old. I couldn't fucking believe it. So it was how you know their ears smell funny, not just nasty. Like an Asiago cheese kind of smell. It's really nasty. And you're like, oh, why does it smell so bad? Well, I kept bathing her, kept bathing her, kept bathing her. I was like, hmm, I don't know. Took her to the groom reaver, let uh, the groomer let them Clean her ears, just did an ear cleaning at the groomer, really small age. Like by that time she was probably eight weeks. And then finally took her to the vet and they were like, yeah, she has an ear infection. I was like, oh shit. Not even the groomer told me she had a fucking ear infection. I was like, great, all you fucking useless ass men, I swear. So, she's feeling pretty good to me. I don't see any more suds in her fur. Everything's looking good to me. The biggest don't, oh, wearing it. Biggest don't, no water over the ears. Biggest do, you still gotta clean the ears, but with the wash rack. Still wanna clean the face and all of that. Look at her waiting for her towel. She knows what the business is. So now what I do is I cover her all the way up like this. Oh, she's a baby. And then I just start with the face. And the whole towel's covering her body in the sink and we just stay in the sink for a little bit. And I start Start drying her off. Oh yeah. And you wanna make sure, just like you did with the wet wash rag, with the dry towel, do the ears. She turned her face towards me so you can't really see her right now. Look at the folks. Show the folks your pretty little clean face. See, getting in those ears, trying to dry them up. Real gentle, don't do it hard. Don't do it hard, huh? Oh, now she looks happy and she wants to be dry, huh? Okay, and then here the fight starts is once we get out of there of the sink, I do one towel on her in the sink, try to get most of the bulk of the water off so it's not like soaking wet. And then once we get her out of here, then she starts to fight me. She doesn't really want me to hold her and dry her off. And then I, I try and hold her and dry her off as long as possible. So this is it. This is our video, folks. I'll just continue to dry her off until she feels all the way dry to me. And uh, she'll probably bite me a few times in between there. And uh, that's it, huh? Huh, Paula? Hey, bye, folks. She just burped in my hand. I didn't have to use any peanut butters. She's probably mad about that. She knows what that word means, huh? So I'll just continue to dry her off all the way till she's not damp at all anymore. And then I'll let her go. And then off to the next one, Princess. My weekly chores. It was lovely to see y'all folks again. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed your time with us and uh, gave you some insight on the right way to play the Frenchie. Had a great time. See you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you're digging what I'm putting out. And uh, let me know where we're standing if you're liking it. Till the next time. Bye, folks.